Hello, welcome to Gus McDoll Strategy and Tactics, and thank you to our subscribers. In this series, we play through the 16 operations of the German Grand Campaign in Close Combat 3, The Russian Front. Please remember to subscribe, comment, and like the video. And if you want to show your support with a donation, the links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Click to start Bootcamp 4 and learn to monitor what's happening on the battlefield. Close Combat Bootcamp 4 – Monitoring Your Forces When playing Close Combat 3, you'll need to monitor what's happening on the battlefield. You can use the toolbar, team monitor and soldier monitor to keep track of information concerning your fighting force. The toolbar is always displayed at the bottom of the screen. The toolbar includes a number of buttons – Chat, Option, Zoom In, Zoom Out, Truce and Flee. The toolbar also displays the latest message sent from the battlefield and summary information on any team you select. In this session, you'll want both the team and soldier monitors turned on. If they aren't already turned on, press F5 to turn on the team monitor and press F7 to turn on the soldier monitor. The team monitor is displayed just above the toolbar. The soldier monitor is displayed when you select a team. Locate the light machine gun infantry in the northwest upper left quadrant of the map. Order them to move fast into the building approximately 50 metres west, left. The soldier monitor will appear when you issue the order, but watch the toolbar as the team moves. You will note that as I select individual soldiers, their individual details are highlighted in the soldier monitor. Note that the toolbar displayed summary information about the team. The order you issued to the team was displayed, and when the team reached its destination, a redeployment successful message was also displayed. However, the toolbar displays information only about the last team to which an order was issued. Locate the T-34 tank in the northwest upper left quadrant of the map. Issue a move fast order to the tank, placing the destination dot on Hill 134, the German victory location, just to the west or left. Watch the team monitor as the tank moves.
местностью овладели. На позицию. Note that the team monitor displays summary information about each team. The order you issued to the T-34 tank was displayed beneath its icon in the team monitor. The order remains displayed until the order is carried out or another order is issued. Find the infantry team you ordered to move fast earlier in this session. They're in the stone building in the northwest upper left quadrant of the map. Order them to move fast toward the stone building next to the ditch approximately 100 metres to the southwest, down and left. Watch the soldier monitor as the team moves toward their destination. I think the commander must be from east of the Urals. Turkov, the sniper, is leading the charge. I'm not really sure that's the best place for a sniper. Note how each team member's status changed as the team moved. Also note that the colour of the text, as well as the text itself, changed to reflect what was happening. Remember, green is good, red is bad, and black means dead. Now find the mortar team in the northeast upper right quadrant of the map. They're in a small cornfield at the foot of hill 132. Order the mortar team to move fast and place the destination dot at the top of hill 132. Watch the soldier monitor as the team moves up the hill. Each of the mortarmen is probably carrying around five kilograms or so of extra kit not including the weight of the 60 mortar rounds. Ты 
Note how the mortar team members grew tired as they moved up the hill. Their physical state changed from healthy to winded by the time they reached the top of the hill. Remember, you can choose to display or hide both the team and soldier monitors. Use the options dialog boxes gameplay tab to turn these monitors on and off, or press F5 team monitor or F7 soldier monitor. For more complete instructions on choosing gameplay options, refer to Chapter 1 in the manual. Congratulations, you've completed Boot Camp 4. You've learned how to use the toolbar Team Monitor and Soldier Monitor to monitor your teams. Put what you've learned to use on the battlefield and good luck. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and donate, and stay tuned for the next episode.